Jared Wurzberger open capture smile. No, I closed it. Sorry. If you smile, it takes a picture of okay. you. Okay. Don't smile. I got. I got that. I like how it tells you in case you get your weenus out or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please hide away your devil. <laughs> <laughs> One. Hello and welcome to Stretch Goal Cast. This is your podcast for the latest in crowdfunded video games on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, Steam Early Access, and more. I am your host, Clinton Ma. I am Jared Wurzberger. I am Justin Nichols. And I am Remy Storms. And uh, we have got an action-packed show for you all this week, like we do every week. Uh, this week we'll be uh, talking about three games and our main topics. We have Planetary Annihilation, followed by Space Pioneer, and uh, Oscar. And then uh, in the speed round we'll be talking about some interesting games as well. We have Inceptor, The Path of Exile Expansion, and Wishful Lie. So uh, we, we'll start with Planetary Annihilation, and uh, with more information on that, we have Justin. Take it away. Hello, yes, so Planetary Annihilation. This is a game that you can currently find on Steam Early Access. You can also find it on their website, on the Uber store. This is by Uber Entertainment. So if you just go to, uh, if you find their website, and yeah, you can get in on the game that way too. So, um, this actually was a Kickstarter back about a year and a half ago, back in September 14, 2012. They raised $2.2 million, and so they had quite a lot of money going for them. They were just originally asking for 900000 but got quite a bit more, which is good, uh, especially for an RTS of this size. So the game is an RTS multiplayer game which takes place in a solar system. So forget about just fighting on little maps. You're actually colonizing planets, which you can actually rotate all around. And also you can go on asteroids. And now what they just added in recently was being able to completely decimate a planet by strapping rockets onto an asteroid and plumbing it into an enemy's planet. <laughs> so that was sort of like the main feature that they're really hoping to get in and they just put it in now. Um, the reason why I'm kind of bringing this up currently is uh, they are going, they're in their, they call it um, Planetary Anni Annihilation Gamma um, it's currently on sale for 40% off. Uh, it's usually $50. Now it's only $30. And um, that's, again, on both Steam and their website. And also the uh, Humble Store as well. Anyways, uh, a bit more about the game. Uh, there's the Galactic War Mode, which uh, this is like... Um, an entire galaxy, and well, actually, yeah. So there's Galactic War mode, which is the biggest, I guess, like uh, mode to play the game in. And they haven't uh, implemented that into the game yet, but they are starting to work on it. And the idea is to actually be able to play up to 40 people, and it would go across an entire galaxy, and you would play this through several multiplayer matches. Or you could also play solo as well. Um, there's even smaller scale modes to play, like smaller sk skirmishes. Um, some other things that they've added in recently are a... Um, let's see here. There was the picture-in-picture. Picture. So because the maps are, you know, like the terrains can cover different planets, it's kind of nice to be able to be focused playing on one planet, but then maybe you've got some guys mining an asteroid as well, and you want to keep an eye on them. So now there's picture-in-picture -picture enabled. Uh, like I mentioned, you can smash planets. 
Uh, there's also crazy Death Star planets that you can colonize. Um, the planets are, and here's that word that we all love, randomly generated. Um, there's volcanoes, forests, mountains, canyons, um, a lot of just cool, pretty looking planets. Um, and then all those uh, can add little obstacles as well. Uh, there are units are like naval, air, ground, and orbitable, or, uh, orbital units. And um, so yeah, you can fight a lot of different ways. There's tons of different units to build in the game. Uh, and some other things that they plan on doing. This game, they really like uh, mods. And so they're building this game. They're saying it's built to be modded. Uh, they want to have like a chrono cam, it's called, so you can actually record uh, gameplay, which is pretty important for like uh, if they want to have like a competitive game. And then also it'll help for, you know, like Let's Play type of promotional videos. The uh, They plan on doing like the client to server tech is designed to push a lot of the heavy lifting on the server side. So that way, you know, matches don't get slowed down by uh, slower computers. And uh, the game was on Windows, Linux, and Mac. So, the, uh, that's, yeah, it's, it's looking pretty cool so far. Uh, they have, like, they started with a really well done video for Kickstarter, which was, like, a visualization of what gameplay would be. And I think they've really nailed... Uh, what they were designing from the get-go. Um, they've been very open throughout development, and the game, I love the art style of it. It's kind of cartoony, uh, but I think the simple kind of flat colored textures really read well for an RTS type of game. Um, and then if you zoom out so much, basically you don't really see the models anymore. You just kind of see icons, which is pretty helpful. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I gotta what say the, uh, the look of the game just didn't. <coughs> pardon me. It's got that kind of bright uh, color palette that uh, you don't often see in RTSs. Most RTSs are kind of uh, techy and brown and gray, with the exception, I guess, Starcraft. Starcraft's got that bright Blizzard art Neon. style too. Mm -hmm. Uh, but then I kind of think about games like CNC and Total Annihilation and Supreme Commander. Like, this game sounds to me like Supreme Commander taken to a uh, galactic scale, right, where you kind of have stuff on different planets and you're waging war across planets, not just within the planets. Is that sort of the idea behind the game? Yeah? Yep. Okay, have I you played the, the game, uh, Justin? No, I haven't, but it was one that I remember seeing... On Kickstarter, I had like, I really enjoyed the concept art that they had, and I even had it as like a background image on my desktop for a while. Um, but I ended up not funding it because I like one they didn't super need it, and also um, I was kind of like, well, I think I could wait until it kind of gets closer to finish. Um, I also wanted to make sure that I had some more friends who were interested in getting it as well. Um, but yeah. I do know that I've got a few friends that are interested in it, so I think Some I I don't know. I really want to grab the I really <laughs> want to grab this thirty dollar one now because you do get a couple of extra little bonuses if you buy in before the actual release comes out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, including really the make... soundtrack, the soundtrack which is full orchestra. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, I think um, Justin kind of showed me this a few months ago, and I, and I think it's I think it's really neat. Um, the the sound which they don't, you know, I haven't I haven't played yet, so I, and I haven't watched any game and any live gameplay footage, so I don't know, you know, um, exactly what what the game sounds like yet. Uh, but from what we're looking at, um, I do kind of like the the, the sim simplistic art style, right? I don't mean to, to knock it. I think it. I think it matches um, it matches uh, the the goal that they're trying to achieve. Plus, the easier it is to to draw, right? The more planets that you can kind of have on screen, the more manipulation you can have across planets. And I think the lo you know the lower the system resources are for the game. So 
I think it's really neat. Um, the thirty dollar price tag now, down from fifty dollars, makes it um, quite a bit more interesting for me. Just like kind of like Justin said. Um, I mean, I would, they they mentioned that they you know like if you want it to go down even more, that it'll probably be a while before it goes down before it gets any cheaper. Um, so yeah, it's uh, I think at a pretty good price. Plus, looking at their Kickstarter, the tiers on that, you know, I think when they do release this, it'll probably end up being about twenty five dollars, maybe twenty, but I would assume probably twenty five dollars. Um, that's a pretty good entry point. Gold. Twenty-five dollars isn't too bad. Uh, Remy, uh, what, what are your thoughts on Plantar Annihilation? Uh, well, I guess just a quick comment. Uh, as soon as I saw the name of the game on the document, Planetary Annihilation, I was like, it's probably not my type of game. But then I click on it and no, no, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not destroying it. Just, just give me, give me one minute, one minute. Uh. What really got me is the, the the look of the game. Even though it's not my type of game, and Spacey is not my favorite thing ever, I would totally play this game. It's, uh, you know, the look of the, the, the characters, the robots, the, the spaceships, it's, it's kind of a minimalistic, you know, like boxy, and I would even say a little bit cute, and it totally uh, feels good uh, on the, in that environment. And, yeah, a lot of the games that are... Like that, they, they really sell the idea, I guess. And yeah, I, I would totally play that just because of the look of the game. I'm, I'm a little bit shallow, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really what pulled me into as well. Yeah. Because I, I'm not a big RTS fan. I used to play Command and Conquer back in the day, but not so much anymore. But uh, yeah, I, I just feel like this seems like a fun time, you know? It's not as. It doesn't seem as, like, intense or as maybe, like, a StarCraft would be. Um, but, you know, it does. It definitely still seems like it's going to be... There's a lot there to learn, uh, some really deep systems. So I think uh, I th think this will be a good one. I think so, too. Uh, it's coming to us from Uber, who made Monday Night Combat. And uh, the, the way the graphics look, they share a lot of similarities to that game, and that game is a big hit. So... It's no surprise that they funded so well two years ago. So this will be definitely a game to watch. Um, so yeah, that was Planetary Annihilation on Steam. I guess you can find it now. It'll be uh, early access stuff.